Alright, let's make this video. That was a crazy game. Yeah, but I'm still kind of disappointed. Oh, because they gave up the three goal lead? Nah, but they only play Nashville like once a year, and this was their chance to do it. Chance to do what? They won. Dude, they were supposed to call up Christian Hansen to take on the Predators. Why? Dude, Chris Hansen taking on the Predators. Did you just make a Dateline NBC joke? Boom! You ready? Banging. Big news. What? Oh, seriously? Uh, no pigs yet. What? Uh, what was he doing? Wow. Bring him on. Beautiful. Why don't you have a seat? Leafs win 4-3 to three against the Nashville Predators in just the 10th ever meeting between these two teams. However, in true Leaf fashion, they didn't make it easy on themselves. But even though it was an ugly win, they still got the two points. High five, high five, let's go home. Hagman opens the scoring and ends his drought with a ugly goal on Pecorine, but hey, it counts. Ponkarovsky makes it 2-0, scoring the exact type of goal he was born to score. Use your size, go to the net, arms in the air. The Matt Stajan pots one of his own. The Leafs are winning 3-0? That's so Awesome. Wait, something smells like fail. Pecorine is pulled, Dan Ellis goes in net, and the Leafs' fortunes head south. Ellis puts on a highlight reel of saves, the best of the night easily on Lee Stepniak, absolutely taking a goal away from him, and he allowed the Preds to get back into this game. And the Preds get one, oh shoot, two, oh crap, three, oh bleep, three get past Gustafson, and the game is tied 3-3. Three, three. Why do you mock me? Because it's funny. But with just minutes left in the game, amidst one of the biggest goal-scoring droughts of his career, Phil Kessel makes it rain. Takes the from Stajan and just fires a quick wrister past Ellis, scores a very Kessel looking goal, which is important because Buddy's got to get back on track. And despite Ian White falling down behind the net with about a minute to go, Ian White doesn't fall. The earth rises. Oh my. The Leafs close it off and win the game 4-3 to in regulation. Funniest moment of the game. It's still 3 nothing. Leafs. Jonas Gustafson has the puck and he gives it up. Here's how he makes up for it. Face! Does some sort of awkward fish swimming upstream thing to stop the puck. And I don't think Francois Allaire taught him that, but hey, it kept the puck out. And it's great to see that even though it was an ugly win, the Leafs can beat a team like the Predators. Because they're one of the better teams in the league right now. And darn it, the Leafs should be beating the Predators. Look at their payroll. If Toronto could draft like that with the Leafs money, they'd be in the playoffs in no time. So far, no such luck. But let me ask you, with Hagman and Kessel finally ending their scoring droughts in this game, do you see these guys finally taking off? Because right now, the Leafs making the playoffs seems pretty much impossible, and the only way they're going to get there is if they get some guys to heat up. That's all for me, guys. I actually wanted to make this video longer, but I have to go speak at a high school today. Dude, they're letting us teach? Us. No, no, no. Just me. Oh, you never let me do anything. Hey, can I at least tell them about the special announcement? D uh, no, because we're saving that for the video for the Thrashers game. So you're going to tell them in the next video? Yes, I will tell them the special announcement. Why am I talking to you? I will tell you guys the special announcement in the next video. Please watch, won't you? Sorry to leave you hanging on that note, but it's just funnier that way. So add me to LeafSpace, Facebook, and Twitter, and I'll see you next time with <gasps> the big news.